This is what question three says, and it looks really, really different. So let me show you how the same knowledge can help you in a situation which looks remarkably um, changed from what we had before, but you can still work it out. Sine alpha equals five on 13. So they tell you what this ratio is. You don't know what alpha is, it's some angle. And then they tell you that alpha and beta are, what are they? They are, they're complementary angles, okay? So that means that's a signal to you that you can use this information, okay? Find cos beta, okay? Well, I'm gonna write it like this. Beta, beta, beta. That's that Greek letter. It's a B with a tail on it, okay? Shh. Cos beta is equal to, now have a look at it, right? Because cos beta is over here, I can say this is sine of, have a look, have a look. This is this situation here, right? It's gonna be the complement of beta, which is 90 minus beta. Does that make sense? So in fact, this line here that I've just written is a direct use of this, just with things dressed up with different letters. Betas instead of thetas, okay? So that's all I've changed. But 90 minus beta, I can work out what that is. Have a look at this guy over here, which was given to us in the question. There's a 90 minus beta hiding in there. Can you see it? What do I have to do to find it? I'll come to 90 minus alpha in a second, but if I want to get 90 minus beta most directly, I should subtract beta from both sides, shouldn't I? That'll leave me with alpha over here, yeah? And 90 minus beta on the right hand side. Do you see that? You see how I have subtracted beta from both sides? So 90 minus beta was hiding up in here. I just needed to tweak it a little bit to see it. Okay. So therefore I can write this is sine alpha. Do you agree? Do you see how I've just done a substitution? But you know what sine alpha is. It's 5 on 13. Okay. Do you see how I've gone about that? So from this line to this line, I have used, in a sense, I've used the definition of sine and cosine, right? Uh, that and that are complementary angles, and that's what cosine means. And then from here to here, what did I do? Can you remember? Look up. Up here I had to subtract beta from both sides to find 90 minus beta in the given information. And then I substituted it in. I'll just write that for you. Okay. Uh, this, of course, is given, so I don't need to say anything there, okay? Okay, now this is where it then gets a bit more challenging and you need to use a bit of imagination, okay? We've got cos beta, done. Now where I'm up to is this guy, cos alpha. Hmm. How do I work this out? So I'm on question three still. I've just worked out the first part, but there's three, okay, three parts. Here's what I'm going to do now. To use my imagination, I'm going to recognize that I've got this trig right here, sine, and I've got these two angles that are complementary. That means I can put them inside a right angled triangle. Can't I? I should be able to do this. Um, if I make this, which one am I going to choose? Alpha and beta. Do you see here alpha and beta add up to 90 because they're in a right angled triangle? Okay, so in fact, let me just write for your sake what, the, what I'm doing. I'm going to construct a right angled triangle. And I'm going to construct it with the angles I've been provided with alpha and beta. There it is. Okay. Help me out, guys. I've got my triangle, I've got this piece of information. How do I put this piece of information up the top on this diagram? If sine alpha is five on 13, where do the five and 13 belong in this diagram? Let me give you some names just to help you. Let's call this triangle P, Q, R. Which side is which? So sine is opposite and hypotenuse, opposite and hypotenuse. Yeah, so therefore, the five is gonna be opposite alpha. Do you see that? It's opposite alpha. So five's on this side. 
Does that make sense? Do you see how I got that? Jacob, Brian, Jake, this is hard. You're going to ask me this question in about five minutes because you're not paying attention. Let me rewind so we're all on the same page. This is the information you've got. But what I'm trying to do is look at it from different angles. That's what this is about. 90 minus beta wasn't in the original question. But I can find it in there if I look at it from a different angle. There was no triangle in the original question either. But I can find one in there that fits all this information. So I've just drawn it. Okay, so I'm imagining it. Lastly, sine alpha, that's opposite on hypotenuse. That's what sine means. So I've looked at alpha and I've said that's the opposite side. That's opposite alpha. And where's the hypotenuse? Which side is it? It's got a name. It's got a name. It's PR. That's 13. Do you see it? Sine alpha equals opposite on hypotenuse. Let me label that as hypotenuse. Okay. Have a look at what we found here, cos beta. Do you see why cos beta is also 5 on 13? Have a look at the diagram now. Because it's I use my complementary relationship, right? But you can see it's just adjacent on hypotenuse when you're standing at beta. Does that make sense? See how the angle is different? Can you see that? Okay, so now I'm almost there. And this is, this is why I'm showing you this example, because it is hard, okay? Um, now I want to find cos alpha. Well, where is cos alpha in this diagram? Have a look at it. Where is it? It's got a name. Cos alpha. It's going to be adjacent on hypotenuse. Do you agree? Adjacent on hypotenuse. Now I know what the hypotenuse, but I don't know what the adjacent side is. How do I find it? Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Thank you very much. Can you go ahead? Can you work it out? Can you tell me what this side PQ is? Use Pythagoras. You can find it. 25 plus 144 is 169. So 5, 12, 13. Yep. Say it again. Should be exactly 12. Should be bang on 12. Yeah, I think maybe something wasn't squared. Anyway, OK. So now I can work out. I'm finally there. I can work out what cos alpha is. It's adjacent on hypotenuse. So let's write that. Cos alpha is adjacent on hypotenuse. Yeah? Sine beta is the last one. But coincidentally, or not coincidentally, it's the same. Can you see why? <laughs> not exactly the answer that was in my head, but that's OK. All right. it's, uh, it's opposite on hypotenuse, but from a different angle. Like literally from a different angle. OK, beta instead of alpha. Uh, also because alpha and beta are complementary. Remember that? That's what we looked at at the beginning. 